Hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is Chapter 8, Module 5, titled Myths and Realities of Household Disaster Response. Alright, <clears throat> so obviously I thought uh, disaster myths would be a good key term. Um, it's in the title. Uh, but disaster myths are beliefs about a disaster that are not valid or inaccurate. So, um stereotypes about people in disasters or uh, disasters themselves. Um, another one that I thought uh, was important was personal risk assessment and response. Um, this is how somebody um, determines how dangerous the situation is and then what they're going to do about it. And um, this can vary depending on suggestions from peers, um, family, media, authorities, all that has um, an impact on how a person responds to a disaster or the situation and how dangerous they think it is. Um, and then finally, for key terms, I thought I would go over the four types of disaster response organizations. Um, so first is an established organization. Um, and they do their normal tasks within a normal organization. So this would be, the book gave an example, um, police directing traffic. Um, second one is extending. Uh, these are novel tasks performed in a normal organization. Uh, so this is like construction workers helping to remove rubble um, during like a search and rescue or something like that. Um, expanding is the third one. These are normal tasks in normal organizations, or normal tasks in novel organizations. Um, and the book describes, an, or the book gives an example, um, the Red Cross volunteering to establish mass um, care centers. And finally, we have emergent organization. And this is Novel tasks in a novel organization. So this would be like, um, the book gives an example, neighbors perform their own search and rescue. So like people taking care of things themselves. Um, my muddy point, um, I didn't understand the difference between convergence and resources. Uh, the text said that it was very similar. Um, they seem like the same thing to me. But uh, yeah, that was my muddy point. And my discussion question, um, I want to know what some disaster myths that you guys have heard about. Um, I'm not very, like, in tune with any of the stuff that we're reading. Uh, I've never been in that situation, and uh, I guess I don't pay attention to the news enough, but... Uh, I'd be interested to hear what you guys have to say about things that you've heard before that may have gotten debunked in the text or that you figured out isn't true. Um, and I'm kind of interested if you guys have heard of any of these uh, examples that they gave in the book. Um, but yeah, I will catch you guys next week. Thank you very much.